In this video, we'll be testing this Coleman Skydome four-person tent for its ease of setup, takedown, spaciousness, comfort, and more. I bought this Skydome four-person tent from Amazon, and here's what it looks like out of the box. Inside the package, I got this carry bag, this gear loft, the tent body with the attached poles, this blue rainfly, 13 stakes in a carry case, the rainfly pole in another carry case, and also this foot mat. I put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. To set up this Coleman Skydome tent, first lay the tent body on the ground, then go to the back of the tent where you will find these black fiberglass poles which are attached to the tent body at one end, like this. Next, put both these poles together. At the other end of each pole, you'll find a small black ball which is to be inserted into this small black pocket attached to the bathtub flooring of the tent. Now pick up both poles until they crisscross at the top. Then while using one hand to hold the poles up, bend down and use your other hand to pick up the center pole clips, which is just two pole clips together. After that, clip the two center pole clips to the middle of each fiberglass pole. Here's how I normally clip them, just one clip on each pole. Now clip the rest of the pole clips to the fiberglass poles, just clip each pole intuitively to the nearest pole. Then drape the rainfly over the tent with the shortest part of the rainfly at the front over the door while the other sides have much longer rainflies. Also, make sure that the Coleman logos on the rainfly are positioned at each width of the tent. To secure the rainfly, there are four of these S-hooks on the rainfly to be hooked to this black loop at the four corners of the tent. Now put the rainfly pole together and insert it into the rainfly pole sleeve at the tip of the rainfly over the door. To secure this pole, insert each end of the pole into this ring at one of the pole clips. There are two rings for both ends of the pole. After that, stake the Skydome tent body down with four stakes and guy out the entire tent with the seven pre-attached guy lines. Altogether, it took me about nine and a half minutes to set up the entire Coleman Skydome four-person tent on my own. Taking down the Coleman Skydome tent is just the opposite of the setup and it took me about 10 minutes for the entire takedown and pack up. For more details on the setup, takedown and pack up, I have this separate video on my channel. The peak height in the Skydome 4 person tent is just 59 inches and I'm about 5 foot 3 so I can't stand upright even at the peak height and I had to slouch and bend my knees quite a bit. The rest of the tent just slopes downwards too. The length inside this Skydome 4 person tent measures about 7 feet and 10 inches, while the width measures about 6 feet and 11 inches, so slightly smaller than the market dimensions of 8 by 7 feet. But I could still easily fit 4 regular sleeping pads or 2 double pads inside the tent, and here's what having 2 double pads looks like. You do have to sleep shoulder to shoulder and there will be no leftover space for any camping gear. Well, maybe just a few inches of space right here. I think it's quite a tight fit though, especially at this corner because the pocket is barely 1 or 2 inches away from my face. Also, my head touches the wall of the tent when I sit up. I think having two people on one queen sized bed would be a much more comfortable fit. And here's what the Skydome 4 person tent looks like with this queen bed. There's also plenty of room for storing gear which is always very nice to have. This Skydome 4 person tent has just one window on the front wall of the tent. The rest of the walls are just made of mesh covered by the rainfly. The window measures about 47 inches so almost 4 feet in length and about 21 inches in width. It also comes with two black Coleman zippers, a bug net to stop larger bugs like mosquitoes from getting in, and a window latch to hold the fabric when the window is open. You don't have to use this window latch though, you can just tuck the fabric against the bug net like this. This also makes it easier to zip the window open and shut without any fumbling. This window is also part of the single door in the Skydome 4 person tent. When opened, the door measures a whopping 4 feet in length and 39 inches in width, so it's really quite big. And here's what it looks like in comparison to my size. And also, here's what it looks like when I walk in and out of the tent through the door. This door also comes with two black Coleman zippers to zip it open and shut. And unlike most other Coleman tents, which come with these latches at the side to tie the door fabric up, this door comes with this triangular pocket at the side so you can stuff the fabric in there while the door is open. For storage, there are two pockets. One is right behind the triangular door pocket, right here. It measures about 17 inches in length and 16 inches in width, and it's a funny triangular shape too, so you won't be able to fit that many things in. There's also another pretty big pocket here that measures 24 inches in length and 7 inches in width and is split into 4 with these black stitches. There's also one loop at the top of the center of the tent where you can hang a lantern for lighting at night, and also four more loops near the lantern loop. This is for the gear loft which will be included with your purchase. It measures about 23 by 19 inches and comes with these S-hooks to hook it up. 
It'll kind of block your lantern loop though, so you can't hang a super big lantern if you want the gear loft up. Oh, and there's no e-port in this tent. I put this Coleman Skydome tent through about 45 minutes of heavy rain, which looked like this. After the rain stopped, about 45 minutes later, I found quite a big puddle of water at the front of the tent, which was leaking through the bathtub flooring seam. This started leaking at about 15 minutes in, with just a few drops of water at first, and the leaking got worse over time. This flooring seam started leaking because it's not taped and instead inverted by Coleman. At the other walls of the tent, there was no leaking through the seam. Why? Because at the three other sides of the tent, the length of the rain fly is a lot longer and covers at least a good three quarters of the tent body. Notice that the rainfall doesn't touch the tent body much. Compare this to the front of the tent, which has a much shorter rain fly length. It doesn't offer quite as much rain protection and a lot of water was flowing over the bottom part of the tent fabric and the flooring seam right here, so there was some leaking. Also, I found that the rainfly pole doesn't provide enough shading over the door of this skydome tent. After I opened the door, the water on the roof of the tent just dripped right into the tent when the door is open, which is kind of silly. Also, there's no vestibule or anything, so you can't leave anything outside your tent like your footwear. During the heavy rain, I found that the rainfly pole was pretty useful in kind of diverting the rainfall away from the window and towards the two sides of the tent instead. So even after 45 minutes of heavy rain, my window mesh was mostly still dry. However, just bear in mind that this test happened in my yard with not a lot of wind. Even if there's lots of wind and you have to shut the window, there will be some airflow from these three large vents inside the tent, each measuring almost the entire length of the tent, which is nice. Each of them also measures about 12 inches in width from the outside. During the heavy rain, I could stake it out and leave it open and no water got into my tent through these vents at all. On a hot day, you can just take the rainfly off from the outside and you'll find that these vents are basically just really large mesh walls. It's great for plenty of ventilation on a hot day as well as for stargazing. But just bear in mind that there will be basically no privacy when the rainfly is off because you can see right into the tent from almost every angle. The flooring of the Skydo 4 person tent is made of polyethylene and the bathtub feature extends up to about 6.5 inches. Even after 45 minutes of heavy pouring rain, no water seeped through the flooring itself. The rest of the tent is made of polyester, which is what I read off this, and I noticed that the light blue fabric at the front of the tent was slightly damp from having been put through 45 minutes of heavy rain. While the seams on the rainfly were taped, most of the seams inside the tent were not taped and were only inverted, like this light blue tent fabric to buff the flooring seam, the vertical seams, and also the entire door seam. I did find these seams to be pretty good quality and double stitched, though I did find just one loose thread which can be easily cut away. The mesh is just regular mesh, not no seam mesh, and it's decent quality. These Coleman zippers are also pretty good quality, and my window zippers were completely catch free. The door zippers were also pretty good quality with no real snagging issues, except sometimes this rain cover thing from the outside does get in the way. So when zipping it up from the inside, I have to push the rain cover out while zipping, and from the outside, I do hold the rain cover away from the zippers. All the poles of this Skydome tent are made of fiberglass, including the rainfly pole. This Skydome 4 person tent has a packed size of 25 by 9 by 9 inches and here's what it looks like beside a Coleman 2 person sundome tent and a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle for a size comparison. It weighs about 10 and a half pounds for everything. For pros, I really like the extra big door which is a whopping 4 feet in length and makes getting gear in and out of the tent super convenient. I also liked that the Skydome tent has more storage options than your average Coleman tent, with not one but two pretty big pockets and also a provided gear loft. Another pro is that hot day ventilation with the rainfly off is great with lots of mesh walls and rainy day ventilation is also good because with the rainfly in place, the mesh walls become vents for some airflow. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button, thank you, and I really appreciate it. As for cons, I think the biggest one is that rain protection can definitely be better, and Coleman should have at least taped the bathtub flooring seam, because it's usually always the first place to leak. Also, the rainfly pole should have provided a little more shading over the door, so that water doesn't drip right into the tent when you open the door after the rain has stopped. 
Also, while there's enough livable space to lounge around inside this tent, this Skydome four-person tent doesn't give you enough space to stand up. I also found it a bit weird that the peak height in this Skydome four-person tent is actually about three inches lower than a regular Coleman four-person dome tent. One of the selling points of this Skydome tent is supposed to be the 20% more headroom, but I don't really buy that though. It honestly doesn't look that much more spacious than a regular sun dome and the peak height is lower. On top of that, I also found the pre-attached poles kind of silly. It's only pre-attached to the back of the tent, so you still have to put the entire pole together and then secure the other end which is the more difficult part. So Coleman basically pre-attached the easiest part of the setup. And this pre-attachment makes cleaning and packing up slightly more difficult because you can't remove the poles from the tent body. Also, this skydome is supposed to be a quick pitch in under 5 minutes, but that's not really accurate. It took me almost 10 minutes for the entire setup. One last con is that the skydome I got was defective. You know these pole pockets at the front of the tent? Yeah, Coleman sewed mine on the wrong way. They sewed the top part up when they were actually supposed to sew the bottom part. So I had to take out these stitches on my own and use these binder clips to seal the bottom part with the pocket as a temporary solution. Overall, after using the Coleman Sundome tent, I'm not really impressed with the Skydome tent. They both set up in about the same time, I don't see much of a difference in the headroom. The Sundome has a taller peak height, and the Sundome's rain protection is actually a little bit better and can take 30 minutes of heavy rain instead of 15 minutes of heavy rain like the Skydome. I also didn't really like how much tension there was on each of these pole clips. Look how tightly it's pulling on the mesh tent body. For more in-depth comparison on how this Skydome tent compares to other Coleman tents like the Sundome tent, you can click on this video right here. I'll put it up when it's ready, so do check it out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see ya in the next one.